Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today, let's pick a card is messages for the mid to end of May. Let's see what's going on between now and the end of May, before June comes in. What we need to know, what our angels want to tell us, okay? So before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. You ready? All right. Pile one is, I'm going to call this the flower chain. Pile two, the butterfly. Pile three, I guess it's a daisy. And pile four, the heart. Okay. So take a moment, pick the pile you are most drawn to, and uh, we'll see what's going on for you mid to late May. Okay, Pile 1, if you chose the flower chain, then this is your reading. Let's get your cards. Two of Cups, Seven of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Devil, Star. All right. Okay, so a soulmate could be coming in for you. Now, soulmates don't have to be romantic, but those of you who are single... This could be a new romantic love coming in for you, uh, which is very exciting. But for, for the most part, I'm kind of feeling like this is a money read, to be honest with you. I'm feeling like there might be some type of soulmate that you might be that might be coming in to offer you a job or somebody you're going to start working with. I don't know, but I think some opportunities are coming in for you. Like you have some options coming in. Like you have more. You have a choice. So it's, it's kind of like you can open a, a different door. You don't have to be standing in the same doorway that you've been standing in for a while. You can open a different door. So I really do think some opportunities are coming in for you. And it does feel like it's financial. So it feels like there might be new jobs or so a promotion or, I don't know, something different in, in the way you make money. Now, there's devil energy here, so what does that tell me? It tells me that you're going to be afraid. You're going to be afraid of, um, am I not good enough? Can I handle this? Is this too overwhelming? You're, you're going to hold yourself back, or you're going to want to, because you're going to be scared. Don't be scared of any new opportunity that comes in, because any a new opportunity that comes in for you, it comes in because there's a reason. Okay, even if that's, even if the reason is that you take this opportunity and you mess up royally, <laughs> well, you were meant to do that then. You were meant to mess up royally, so you learned from it, okay? So don't be afraid of any new opportunities, and don't be afraid to fail. Honestly, the, the most successful people in life have failed more than they've succeeded, and they've learned from it and they've grown from it. So failure is actually a blessing. I know it doesn't feel like that when you're going through it, but it actually is. So don't hold yourself back from any new opportunity coming in, especially if it's a love opportunity. I mean, this could be about love uh, and you're going to have more than one option, right? And it looks like if you do, if that's the case, you're going to take the one that's a little more practical, <laughs> a little one, a little one who's a little more stable financially. But you definitely have a wish coming true. So whether your wish is about money or love, which most of our wishes are about uh, money, love, health are the three things that I usually, you know, get asked about the most. Um everything looks good and don't be afraid to like i said take a new opportunity open another door because door it looks like doors are opening for you so yeah it looks great all right let's get you some more <coughs> excuse 
still coughing. Can't get rid of it. It's like lingering. I feel better, but I'm ling I, the cough is lingering. Seven of Wands. Four of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. All right. So like I said, you got some anxiety here, some fear. Don't don't let that get the best of you, okay? You're good enough. You're worthy. You can handle whatever is coming in your way. You can. You're going to be just fine. Stay in your ground, though, okay? So whatever it is that you want, don't settle for less. You know, make sure you're standing your ground. Make sure you're sticking up for yourself, especially when it comes to, like, a job when they're going to offer you a certain pay and you're like, mm, no, 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 no. Uh, the average pay for this is, you know, a couple thousand more. So stay in your ground. You'll get it. Yet you do have some kind of commitment here, four wands. So this could be a love situation because my four wands is my uh, marriage card, right? Uh, but it, it just, for me, it just signifies a celebration or a commitment, something really great. So something really good is coming in for you. It could be love, could be money. Eight of Pentacles here is about working hard. Creating a masterpiece. You know, your hard work's going to pay off. Being good at your job. All those things. So, I think you are being noticed. I think you're being recognized in some way. It could be about love. You could be noticed in love. About, you know, how amazing you are as a person. How hard you work at things. Or it could be, you know, you're really good at your job. You're good at what you do and you're, you would be an asset to any company or, uh, yeah, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. You have a wish coming true coming in. Higher consciousness. So that tells me that your angels and guides will be there for you. They'll help you make your decisions, right? So tap into that higher consciousness. How do you do that? Meditating mostly. Pay attention to your dreams. Mostly I meditate. I have a hard time meditating. I mean, I try to meditate every night, every morning, right? Before I go to bed and before I wake, completely wake up. It doesn't always work for me. So I meditate in the shower. I meditate while I'm driving. Uh, it's just I, I allow my thoughts to be free. And whatever comes to me, comes to me. And I get a lot of downloads and a lot of information then. So, like, really tap into that. You know, if driving works for you and uh, you need an answer, what do you do? Jump in the car. Go take a drive. Drive to nowhere. doesn't matter. Go find a dirt road, find a country road, drive down where you're not going to be distracted by, you know, a million traffic lights or, you know, try, drive right down some back roads. Get yourself lost. You can always turn on GPS, right? But uh, induce that meditation, okay? Get your answers because they'll come to you. Or set your intention. When I go to sleep tonight, angels, I need you to, to guide me. I need to remember my dreams so I, I know what answers, what to do the next morning. <sighs> Serve the world by being you. Double mission. You have a double mission. So whatever's coming in is not only going to help you, but it's going to help somebody else. So it could either be helping one other person or many other people. Double missions always do that, right? They help you, but they also help the cause, humanity, your community, or one other person. So you'll get advice that helps you and helps somebody else. Or leads you to help somebody else. So you have a double mission coming in. Sorry. 
Go. Act from your innate wisdom. Yeah. Again, you have some downloads coming in. You have some information. You have some guidance, some knowledge coming in. It's really going to help you. Who in the world are you? Getting to know the new you. Somebody, I, uh, I feel like this is your soulmate. I feel like your soulmate's coming in. Usually I take that as a card of self, like you're getting to know the new, new, your new self. Um, but I don't, I don't think so. I think it's your soulmate coming in, getting to know the new you. Because look, energy is always changing, right? So we change every day. Whether it's major changes or not, it, we're not the same people we were when we started. We're just not. We learn and grow. It's it's part of our evolution. It's what, what happens here. So your soulmate's coming in and they're learning the new you. So this is probably somebody you've known. And it doesn't have to be in this lifetime. You could have known them from a past lifetime. But they're getting to know you, who you are here. And who you, who you are now is more important. Like who you are in the present moment is really what they're trying to say. So I, I get the feeling you know who the soulmate is. And like I said, it doesn't have to be romantic, but it could be. I'm getting all kinds of distractions here. Sorry. I just yawned. And there's background noise. <laughs> A fiery climax approaches. Huh. So, something's coming to a head. Fiery is something that's very passionate, right? Now, passionate could be really good, or it could be really not so good. It could be anger. But a fiery conclusion approaches. So an end to something is coming in for you. But it's a passionate end. Maybe somebody's upset that you're taking a different job. Maybe somebody's upset at a new soulmate coming in for you, a love interest. But there's some kind of passion coming in for you by the end of May. I'm not real worried about it, but you are. Or you will be. I don't, I don't know why. I, I think uh, something really great is about to happen for you. So I wouldn't be too worried. And, and, you know, as long as you stay true to you and do what's best for you and handle yourself with grace, you're going to be fine. Even if you don't, you're going to be fine. Oh, you're going to be protective of somebody. You got the black bear. Oh, I like that's like you know mama bear with her cubs right she's very protective so if you are a parent that fiery com, com, um, climax could have something to do with one of your kids where you want to feel where you feel protective of them it's possible but uh awaken my intuition and guide me so Again, they're telling you to tap into your higher self. And this way you know what to do. Okay, you know how to handle a situation. Mama bears are pretty fiery. So let's uh, make sure that we're handling everything with grace if we can. Just because everything comes back to us, right? So we only want to we only want to put good out there. Poor Michael, four swords, take that time out. 
insights that come from quiet meditation. Yeah. So you're going to you're going to need to know what to do about something. Seek relief from stress. Okay, so whatever's coming in. I, it felt really good. It felt really good. So I, I do feel like you have something really good coming in for you. All right. I feel like you do have a, a very nice opportunity coming in for you. But at the same time, there's going to be a situation that's going to require you to handle it calmly. Still stand your ground. Protect what you want. Protect what's yours. But handle it with grace. And in order to do that, they're saying, listen to us. We're going to guide you through this. We're going to help you. So ask for the help intentionally set your mindset to receive help. All right. And don't act out of anger or fear without contemplating it first. You're going to come out on top. You're getting a wish fulfillment here. So anyway, let's pull you some charms. <clears throat> look, look, look at that big heart. There's some love here. So there's some love coming in for you. You know, maybe it's somebody from your past returning and you have a big blow up first. Right? If that's the case, then that's the case. I know a lot of you are going to say that will never happen. I will never allow somebody who hurt me back in. I get it, but then maybe that's not your story. But they're saying trust your intuition on this one. That this actually is a gift. There is love here. Something's going to blossom from this. Something beautiful. You're going to get a wish come true. See the saddle. You got the saddle. And that makes me feel like something's returning from the past. Get back in the saddle again. It doesn't have to be. It really doesn't. It just means if you're knocked down, get back up. But you have the cow. Cows, for some reason, always re like. I think of like, I think of them as like maternal energy for some reason. Now I know they're steers and bulls and all that, but for some reason, when I think of a cow, I think of a cow with a baby all the time. I don't know why. Maybe because of the milk. But I think there's something maternal going to come out of somebody or pater paternal. Some kind of uh, parental energy here, like a protectiveness. So I think somebody's coming in, but you're going to want to protect your kids if you have kids. Not everybody has kids, so that can't be everybody's story, but I'm feeling it, so i got to say it. I don't know. I was pretty sure of this this uh, reading, and then it turn, took a turn. So that's what I got, Pile One. That's what I got. So I'm gonna leave it here. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light.
Magpie Pile 2, if you chose the butterfly, and this one is your reading, let's get your cards. <clears throat> the Chariot, Justice, Judgment, Eight of Swords, and the Tower. All right, sorry, had to blow my nose. Um, well, things are going to start moving really fast for you. Something's going to happen very quickly. Very quickly. Um, pile two. I think you're going to have a tower moment. At first I was thinking that you could prevent it, but I don't think there's any preventing it. A tower moment is a sudden change. Okay. Tower moments don't feel great when we go through them. Okay. But they happen for our highest good. They got to clear out some stuff to make room for something new. All right. So it's like they got to really shake up our energy. So, I mean, sometimes they come in when we're refusing to change. When we're like dragging our feet about changing a situation, but we know the situation needs to be changed. Well, a tower moment, the universe will come in, create a tower moment where we don't have a choice anymore. That choice was taken from us. Like there's a change. We, uh, we don't have a choice, right? Tower moments come in to put us back on our soul path where we're supposed to be. So, I, I really don't know how to read this. I'm kind of feeling like, at first, like something really good is coming in and you're gonna feel like, finally, I'm, I'm getting some justice. I'm, uh, you know, things are back into balance, like uh, uh, being fair. And then, you know, judgment's here but wait a minute, I, I'm, I'm taking a look at past mistakes here and I want to do things differently. I don't want the same thing to happen. And because you're thinking that, then you get all up in your head and you're worried that something bad's going to happen and then you attract the tower. So that's why at first I thought, well, maybe you could, you know, um, prevent that tower from happening by not getting all up in your head. But I don't know. I kind of feel like this tower needs to happen. So, uh, let's get some more cards. <laughs> let's see. But whatever it is, like, this is, it, it's really meant for you. And even if it's like, say it's like a breakup right? Then you weren't really supposed to be with that person, okay? So, and I know that never feels good, right? But there's something happening here, but it's happening for a reason. And like I said, I thought we could prevent it, but I don't think you can. All right. All right. So here's the good news. All right, so the second row is really good. So I think by the end of May, something's going to happen. It's going to change your life. It's going to shake things up for you. It's not going to feel the greatest, but it's going to be okay. It will be okay. Because what's that, what's that going to do? That's going to bring in a soulmate for you. That's going to bring in a new beginning. It's going to actually bring in your, your wishes your dreams. So, um, whatever is happening by the end of May, mm, it wasn't meant for you. We need to change it up. We need to change it up, but not to worry because it's definitely going to put you back on your soul path and actually bring in people who are more aligned with your soul's journey and your per life's purpose here so things are going to work out for you it just it might not feel like that by the end of may all right but even though something 
is coming in to disrupt your life. You're still in magician mood. You're still manifesting what you want in life and you're going to get it. It just not might be the way that you thought. So let's get some more cards. Oh, goodness. Here we go. Kindness. Okay, so this is saying, no matter what happens, be kind to you. Don't get down on yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Because you're, with judgment here, you're going to place a lot of blame on yourself. You know, why am I like that? Why do I... Why am I not good enough? Why am I unlovable? Like you're going to start feeling, you're going to start judging yourself. I want you to be kind to yourself because you're not, it's, it, this just wasn't meant for you. It just wasn't meant for you. All right. Whatever it is, like it's, they're, they're shaking you up for a reason. Like I feel like they're really redirecting you. And you're going to find your harmony and your balance again. You will find that again. You will have justice again. Okay, that's, that is definitely coming in for you. We just have to get through this tower moment first. And then you'll be able to take a leap of faith and start a whole brand new journey, okay? Prepare for change. You got the raven. All right, so change is coming. And sometimes when we're forewarned, we're forearmed. So we could be ready for this, right? It might not sting as badly if we're prepared. So I'm not telling you this to scare you. You know, I've been accused of, you know, oh, all this doom and gloom. You're going to, you know, make us worry that somebody's going to die on us. No, that's not what I'm, that's not what I'm saying at all. Okay. And I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just trying to prepare you for, for a change that might be coming in that you might be blindsided by otherwise if you didn't hear this message, right? Nobody likes to be blindsided. That does not feel good. I'd rather know and be prepared and know that I, uh, you know uh, something great is going to come out of it than be blindsided with something, all right? So I'm not predicting you know, anything too terrible. But there's going to be a change in your life. All right? And you will make it through it. You will make it through it. So shine your light or don't let your light flicker out. Don't be too hard on yourself. Okay? Because you are still amazing. You're still beautiful inside and out. And you will make it through this. Everything will be okay. You will actually be very successful after this. So, no worries. But something's not going to go the way that you thought it would. I mean, it could be something like you applied for your first choice school and you didn't get in. That could be your tower moment. You could be devastated by that. Like, I didn't make my first place school. Like, now I don't want to go to these other schools. That's the school I really wanted to go to. Now you don't have a choice. So you go to your second choice school, and you meet the love of your life there. So it was meant for you, right? The first choice school was not meant for you. So it could be something as simple as that. So, you know, I don't know. Have faith in your dreams. Everything's going to work out for you. Everything's going to work out for you beautifully, actually. So, like I said, don't get too hard on yourself. Goose. Inner knowing. You are a brave traveler. Your soul knows the way. That's why tower ha ha moments happen, because our soul knows the way... <laughs> Our human bodies don't always know the way. Our human mind doesn't always know the way. But our souls do. All right? Be confident. You will achieve your destination. Loyal friends are always with you. And don't worry. You are blessed. Let yourself fly. So regardless what happens, 
regardless if there's a setback in some way, you're going to be just fine. All right? Take a moment to, to feel your hurt, feel your anger, your frustration, your pain, your whatever. Take a moment to feel that. I'm not saying don't feel your feelings. But just know something amazing is coming in for you. Ada Michael, Eight of Swords, you can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation because you're not seeing things clearly right now or you won't be when you go through this or after this happens. So it's going to make you a little up in your head, maybe not being able to see a clear solution right away, but you'll get the clarity, all right? And you can choose to not be so upset over this, to be happy. All right, I didn't get my first place school. That's okay. I'll be fine. I'll, I'll, I'll do exceptionally well at my second place school, and the first place school will be upset they didn't accept me. I'll show them. All right, so don't worry too much about this. Just uh, <clears throat> be kind to yourself. All right. <laughs> See, it's going to end up being a home run for you. All right. Now, we got the house, so you could be moving. All right. There might be a move here or change in living circumstances. Um, but it will be a wish come true, even if you don't realize it. But a transformation is happening, a change. And you got my new little teddy bear charm, so that's telling me that... Uh, You might need some comfort. All right. Somebody might, you might need a hug from somebody. So allow somebody to give it to you. You know, go get comfort from your mom or whomever you turn to. It'll, it, it'll be okay. They'll make you feel better. They might even bake you a pie. <laughs> no, but don't, yeah, that's about, don't worry about it. You're going to get your slice of the pie. Like everything's going to work out for you. Right? You're going to be successful. You have the chariot here twice. You have some success some success coming in. Whether you realize it when you're going through that tower moment or not, you do. All right? So chin up. Don't be so hard on you. All right, pile two. That's what I got. Sorry, I got some news like that coming in, but you got some news like that coming in, unfortunately. All right. Give the video a like, even though... You might not like the reading. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 3. If you chose the daisy, then this one's your reading. Let's get your cards. King of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Queen of Cups. The Empress and Four of Swords. Okay. Um, pile three. You have some great stuff here. You, for those of you looking for love, I think uh, love could be coming in. I think a new job opportunity could be coming in. I, uh, I, I don't know. I think a really great situation is coming in from you. I'm, I'm just not understanding what that Four of Swords is. So give me a second. Okay, somebody was at my door screaming. <laughs> Everybody knows that they could just come in, so I don't know why they were screaming, but anyway, I had to put you on pause. But now I'm back. Um, I think what I was saying is I'm not sure about what that Four of Swords is down on the end. Everything else is pretty amazing. So 
I, I, I am getting from the Queen of Cups that you're going to have to use your intuition on something. So maybe that's what that Four of Swords is, is that you're going to be looking for an answer here. You might, something um, <clears throat> might be coming in and you're not sure how to handle it. So you might be looking for answers, but it feels really good. So it, 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 it's not a bad thing. And I think the Emperor is here to tell me that you created the situation. Like your actions, whatever you did, is bringing this good thing in, this wish fulfillment in. So it's exciting because it's like your hard work's paying off. It's like it's something that you did to attract this into your life. And you're the King of Pentacles, so everything's going to work out for you. I just think that you need to trust your intuition a little bit. So I, that's the only reason why I think that the Four of Swords is here. Like something really great's going to come in, but you're going to be, it's not like you're unsure. It's just you don't know how to um, handle the situation. Like maybe it's a delicate situation or maybe it's a, a choice between two and like, say, for instance, let's say it's a work-related uh, opportunity here. Say you got a really great work-related opportunity to come in. You got uh, a chance to, to go do something different. A lot more money, better benefits, less work, right? But if your boss finds out, your current boss they're going to be really upset because maybe this is their like arch nemesis and the, you know, maybe this is their competition and, and you don't want to upset your boss because maybe your boss is like your friend's father. So you don't want to upset them, but like, this is a really great opportunity and you want to take it. You just have to handle it with grace. So maybe that's why you need to trust your intuition. Something along those lines, <laughs> these scenarios, they come to me. I don't know. But you get the you get the gist of this type of situation as one well, how I'm feeling, and it doesn't have to be work related, but like maybe this is like a new love situation coming in, but it's like the sister of your best friend or something like that, so you have to handle it. Um, let's see, six of swords, three of wands. Hangman, Hierophant. Again, looking for answers. All right, so I think you're moving on from something, but you're going towards happiness. So I think that's... Uh, that's really good. I think that you're going to be working with new people or having... Um, new people in your life, like new partnerships, new alliances you're making, new connections, and any sacrifice that you make, like the sacrifices that you make are, are going to be so worth it. And, but again, you're worried about something because you're looking for answers. You're, you're looking for guidance. So you could be going to talk to somebody that's going to give you that guidance, somebody older, wiser, or somebody who's been through your situation before. But you are going to, you are going to be talking to somebody, it looks like. You're going to be praying. <laughs> You're going to be meditating. You're going to be doing all kinds of things, trying to tap into that intuition, trying to get the answers. But I don't feel like this is a negative thing for you at all. I feel like it's a very positive thing. You just have to Navigate it well, if that makes sense. All right, let's see. Feeling safe. So, <laughs> you're going to be feeling safe. Safe to trust that you're making the right decisions, uh, feeling safe enough to um, 
go after your dreams. I, somebody's going to be making you feel, feel safe. <sighs> I, maybe this is just security coming in. Maybe it's financial security. All right. So this is like, I got to, I got to take this opportunity coming in because it's going to make me feel safe. It's going to make me feel financially secure. Or I don't have to worry because I know I'm protected anyway. I don't know, but you're, you're going to be feeling safe. So that's a really good thing. Seeing potential. All right. So you're seeing potential in something. You're like, you're seeing the big picture. You're seeing the potential. You're seeing where this could lead, where this can go. Hang on one second. All right. Sorry. Everybody's making too much noise. It's very distracting. Anyway, here we go. Seize opportunities courageously. So don't be afraid to take this new opportunity because I don't think you are. I think you're just, I think you just got to do it with confidence and stand your ground and don't let anybody try to talk you out of it. It is what it is. All right. That's right for you. You know this. You already feel this. Find the lesson, discover the purpose in a situation, and trust that you are learning. All right. So if you're questioning things, because obviously you are with, with being putting yourself in a timeout and looking for answers, um, just say, what can I learn from this? What can I learn from this? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't think it's a bad thing at all. So I don't think it's a hard lesson to learn here. The energy is gaining momentum. So we know this is coming in pretty quickly because that was our intention anyway to find out what was happening by the end of May. So this is coming in quickly. Dolphin play. Swim in the happy joy of living. Inhale confidence and exhale fear dive into your wisdom and go with the flow so happiness is coming in a more fun time for you is coming in so maybe you're going to have more money to play with and and have more fun with and do more fun things so good things are coming in for you i'm not exactly sure what it is but it looks uh it looks great it kind of does feel like a financial opportunity but it could be love i don't know here we go. Page of Michael. An exciting new challenge. See, it kind of feels like a new job. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. So if you're starting your own business, make sure you're reading all the documents you should the way that you should. Okay. But this is amazing. You have something really amazing coming in. I love it. All right. Please and charm. <laughs> we have angels. Angels. And Cupid. All right. So angels. Okay, angels are here loving you, supporting you, guiding you. We have Cupid, so love could be coming in. Cupid's going to shoot its arrows at you. We have luck on your side. Oh, a monkey wrench might be thrown into it. So uh, there might be a wrench in your plans or something, and maybe that's why you're looking for answers, like some kind of a, you know, a little bit of an obstacle, but don't worry about it too much because you're going to learn from this and you're going to grow from it. And it's going to be fine. Uh, you have June, so 
end of June. I mean, end of May, beginning of June. Okay, all right, no worries. And then you got the broom. So the broom is always like sweeping the negative away, you know, cleaning out what needs to be cleaned out. So um, I think you're bringing in a, a, a major blessing here. I think you're bringing in a major blessing. I'm excited for you, Pile 3. We'll see. All right, that's what I have. So give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a message all, or a comment. All those things help me a lot, and I appreciate you for it. Until next time, love and light. Okay, Pile 4, if you chose the heart, here we go. <laughs> Sun. Ten of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Hierophant, King of Wands. Um, pile four, you're loving life by the end of May. You're loving life. This is amazing. You got some happiness coming in. Pure happiness. What does happiness look like for you? What is it? Is it love? Is it money? What is it? You got some happiness, a lot of happiness. You're going to be so happy. Uh, you're going to be looking good. It looks like everything is just working out for you. You are sitting pretty. You're the king of wands. You're the queen of pentacles. That means not only are your dreams coming true, but the money's good. Like everything's good. You could even be getting married with the higher fit here. <coughs> Sorry. Um, that's a possibility. Somebody could be planning on getting married or getting married or I don't know, but this is great stuff. Maybe you're mentoring somebody. Maybe you're giving some really great advice. Um, but life is really working out for you. How I'm so excited for you. <laughs> I wish this was my reading. I could use this coming in by the end of May. <laughs> um, good for you. Good for you. The world. The lovers. Seven of swords. Four of swords. All right. All right. So this is about looking for answers then. Okay. All right. So. We're finishing up a cycle, starting a new cycle with a new love, it looks like. Or with a soulmate. I mean, it could be. It, it kind of feels new love, but it doesn't have to be. It could be somebody you're already with. But there's a new cycle with your with the love, with your lover. Now, Seven of Swords, you guys know, that's Mr. Sneaky. That's my liar, cheater, and thief, right? I don't know why he's showing up. But. Damn, that's like that. Like, why did he have to show up in this read? This is an amazing read. He's showing up and you're going to go into a timeout. You're going to look for answers because of that. Why, though? Is 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 he you? Is he your lover there? I don't have an answer. Why don't I have an answer? Oh, <laughs> they just sent some kind of shockwave through me. I don't know. That didn't give me an answer though. <laughs> the hair on my. The hair on my arms are like, it's sta can you see this? No, you can't see it. It's standing up. I have goosebumps everywhere because of that. Because I was like, why is he here? Who is he? I don't know. Let's get some more cards. And if I don't have an answer by the end of the cards, we'll pull some more cards to find out who he is. But let's, let's just go on with the reading.
peace of mind. All right, so you're getting peace of mind. So you're going to feel confident. You're going to feel, you know, good about things. So this new cycle is going to bring you some peace. All right. I told you you're sitting pretty. Everything's working out for you. Your, your dreams are coming true here. You got you got all this happiness and you got money and you got some good advice. So you are sitting pretty. So you should feel peace of mind. That's for sure. I'm just, you know, I should have, shouldn't have did that row. <laughs> Homesick for the stars. Longing for home. Okay, longing for home. It means you want to belong. Are you going home? Are you going home to your lover? Are you going back to where you belong? Okay, um, uh, that card makes me think of a scenario that I'm not crazy about, but I'm going to say it. Um, your soulmate, your lover, somebody you cheated on, or they cheated on you. But you've been missing them. You've been missing them. And you want to go back. You want to go back. And you're going to go back because you're missing them so much. And being back in their arms is going to bring you some peace of mind. Now, that doesn't have to be everybody's story, but that did come up. So let's, let's keep going. And like I said, I'm still probably going to pull cards on Mr. Sneaky just to see who he is. But... Or why he showed up. I mean, uh, Mr. Sneaky could be about being strategic, but what do you got to be strategic about? Everything's working out for you here. So I use power with wisdom, the bear. So be smart about your actions. You don't have to use force. You use your wisdom. So be smart about your actions. Okay, and that's all Mr. Sneaky. And Mr. Sneaky could be about strategizing. So be smart about your actions. So maybe Mr. Sneaky's not a liar cheater. Maybe they're just, um, it's you strategizing on what to do. Which kind of makes sense with being in a timeout. So, okay. So let's get the story here. We're sitting pretty, right? We have a lot of happiness coming in. We have money coming in. Um... Maybe we're thinking about marrying our love, the love of our life, but we want to be sure about it. We want to be strategic. We want to make sure we're making the right decision. We don't want to force anybody's hand, so we're going to use our wisdom over our power to bring us peace of mind. And it would, you know, marrying this person would be feel like home. Okay, that all makes sense. That could be a story. That could be someone's story. I'm feeling better about Mr. Sneaky. It's your moment. Wake up. So they're saying, duh, you already know what to do. You don't have to be in this timeout. Wake up. It's your time to shine. You have this, you have everything you've always wanted. Your, your dreams are coming true. They're right here in your grasp. What are you waiting for? What are you worried about? Wake up. The love of your life is waiting for you. You are safe. You and your loved ones are safe. So everything's going to be okay. What are you worried about? Everything's going to be fine. Giraffe, visionary. Rise above earthly matters. Glide through life with grace. You are able to see the right path. You are able to see the right path. You know what you, what's right. Stand tall on your self-worth. And love with a big heart. Go get your girl or go get your guy. Go get him. 
you know the right you why are you waiting why are you why why wake up <laughs> wake up bile four uh you have your dreams at your fingertips here don't hold yourself back from them I love this read. Can I tell you how much I love this read? I'm so glad I worked through Mr. Sneaky. <laughs> Hierophant. You got the Hierophant. You're getting married. You're getting married. There's no doubt in my mind. You're going to get married. Or you're going to do things the traditional way. Ah, <sighs> Searching for the meaning of life. Considering an alternative approach. Surrounding yourself with wise teachers or friends. This is happily ever after. You're meeting your person. If you're single, you're meeting your person. And, uh, and don't doubt it. This is going to be your person. And you're going to live happily ever after. They're going to bring you so much happiness. Look at this King of Wands. This means that not only are you going to love them, but you're going to actually be attracted to them. Like, there's going to be chemistry. There's going to be romance here. There's going to be a lot of good stuff. And money to boot. Best reading. That's It's one of the best readings. Good thing. I, I'm, I'm glad I worked through Mr. Sneaky. He had me scared there for a minute, but you know, that's me because I've dealt with Mr. Sneaky for so long. Anyway, cut cords with what no longer serves you, right? You're going to fix things. I don't know what you're fixing, but you're fixing things. And things are changing. Things are about to change. We have some independence here, so um, not codependence, independence. You having to make up your mind to do something nobody can tell you what to do type of thing. You'll be shown the right path. You know what to do. Love with a big heart. You're getting some angelic help, though. Trust that intuition of yours. It's going to bring you peace of mind, this situation. Shoot your shot. Shoot your shot, Pile 4. Uh, you're going to slam dunk it. I'm telling you, you're going to slam dunk it. This is beautiful. This is amazing. <sighs> Cut cords with any fear, anything from the past that, you know, is holding you back. Be that strong, confident, independent person that you are. If you have to fix things with someone, you have the ability to do so. So loving this. So loving this, Bio 4. Get your person. Marry them. Do what you gotta do. I'm a sucker for love. Sucker for romance. Sucker for happily ever after. And that's what you're gonna have. Alright, Pile 4. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time. Love and light.